Good afternoon, my name is Amy Brooke with AgriSecure and today we're standing in a newly planted cornfield and we're watching the tine weeder coming right at us. This is a tine weeder, it's a Hasenbuckler model, it's a 40 foot, we're pulling it with a 85-20 track. Don't need a lot of horsepower to pull this, but the speed is critical again. We're running, you can run this uh, eight to 12 mile an hour, we're running about 10 mile an hour right now. So the objective for today is to remove the indentation of the row units that you can see from the planter in the field. So we're trying to make an even field bed so each subsequent tillage tool pass is gonna have great tillage tool contact to soil. That's what we want. When you have that tillage tool contact to soil, you're gonna mitigate weeds. Don't need to move a lot of soil at this point in time. You can tell that there is very light, low to nothing weed pressure. So we just need to really stirrate that soil, remove the weeds at white root hair stage. This can remove weeds at a little bit greater stage than that compared to a rotary hoe but the idea is to really be proactive and preventative. There's a couple of settings with this. Really, you can adjust the height of um, the tine weeder and how high it travels into the soil or how deep it travels into the soil. We have this set up about a half inch above the seed and you can adjust the angle in which the tines run. So it's a very effective tool in organic production. Wanted to show you a quick close up of the soil post tine weeder pass. You can tell that top inch of soil is just loose and that means that we stirrated it enough to uh, prevent those weeds from growing. Lastly, here's a viewpoint of the tine weeder close up. The tines are spaced out so field debris can flow through the machine pretty easily. Also, you can adjust the depth in which the tines run, you can adjust the angle in which they run. This is a highly effective piece of tillage equipment for organic farming. Thanks so much for your time.